I can't wait to face Yaya Jame. I was 18 years old when he raped me in 2015. I've spent the last four years wanting to erase, to hide that it didn't happen. Like, life is all good. It happened. He is no longer the president. My family is fine. Life goes on. That's pretty easy, right? I wish that is what it was. The pageant is a competition of women empowerment. So the message in behind it was to empower women, to give them a platform to compete and talk about issues that affect their communities and also have a scholarship for girls so they can go and study abroad and come back to the country and contribute. And the winner is to A. Jalo from Gambia College. Wow! I was so proud of myself. I am a crowned queen, right? And I'm going to study abroad. My first time meeting the ex-president was in 2014. Towards the end of the year after the pageant, we were invited to the state house. One day he asked that he wanted to marry me. But I told him I I'm not planning to. I don't want to get married. I want to go and study. That's the reason why I got into this pageant. In his eyes, all I saw was just a sense of anger at the fact that I would have the audacity somehow to say no to him. The president, he did what he wanted to do and I was screaming and at some point I couldn't hear my scream anymore and he told me no one is gonna hear me anyways well I'm gonna say this story again and I'm gonna own this story My justice, most importantly, includes a whole system change so that we can prosecute these men, have our day in court. Nobody discusses rape. And yes, I am scared. I am scared. But I want the next person after me to be a little less scared than me.